Despite the small screen size and small memory of the Commodore VIC-20, uh, there were a number of home office applications that could be run on it, and I want to show a few spreadsheets uh, that uh, were released for it. Now, the two I want to concentrate are called SimpliCalc and PractiCalc. Uh, there are others such as TechniCalc, BusyCalc, and a, a 40 column spreadsheet program uh, written in BASIC, which I've shown in a previous video looking at uh, 40 column BASIC extensions. But I'm concentrating on SimpliCalc and PractiCalc for, this, well, for the reason that they're the two that um, seem to be seem to work relatively well and I can't get proper versions of TechniCalc or BusyCalc working. So we'll concentrate on SimpliCalc and PractiCalc. The first program I want to show is called uh, SimpliCalc, which seems to have been released in uh, 1983. And it was released by, um, it was one of the Commodore releases. The reason I think it was released in 1983 is if I list the file there, there we are, 1983. So I'll run that. It takes a long time to run uh, to get going, so I'll uh, skip forward until it's loaded properly. Right, so that's loaded. And the first thing it asks us is whether we want to load a sheet. Uh, well, no, I want to start afresh, so I'll press no. And it wants us to tell it what size uh, we're going to make this worksheet. So I'm going to have no more than 10 columns and 30 rows and that will define the sheet. So SimpliCalc was uh, released on both cassette tape and diskette. I'm using the diskette version here and um, the one thing I do like about SimpliCalc is that it supports a mixed case. So if I create a spreadsheet and we'll say um, There you are. So you can see that the capital C and then OSTS in lowercase. And then we'll put some costs in there. Um, paper. I'll just make up a spreadsheet. Now I think I might put this all in capitals. Unfortunately, once you're typing a line in, you can't delete or anything. Uh, if you want to change it, you just have to retype it. So we've got um, costs. I'll put some costs in. There we are. And take some income details. We'll pretend this is some sort of business. Uh, so we'll have. Uh, online sales and sales from a shop. I'll say the online sales are worth that much and the shop sales are worth that much. So the first thing we need to do is total up those figures. So with Simply Count we press F1, we want a formula and we're going to use plus. If I do a plus it automatically totals up the column. So I'll press enter and then we press question mark to get the answer. So there we are, I've got the total income over there. And we'll do the same for the costs. F1 formula plus. F7, by the way, is um, like an escape key to cancel an operation. There we are. So I press the question mark and we've got the total costs. And if I now want to work out the profit, so we'll take away, so it's column, so it's 0403, so column 4, row 3. and 0104. So 0403. So we'll do formula, so column 4, row 3, 
take away, column one, row four. Take the mark again. And there we are. There's our profit. So um, that all works well. And, uh, and there's not an awful lot more I can say about Simply Calc. It doesn't have an awful lot of facilities. I say the main thing that I like about it is that it supports the um, uh, the mixed case uh, when it's being used. So I'll leave it for there and I'll go on to show uh, practical. Okay, so now I want to show practical. Uh, practical was released in 1982 by Computer Software Associates and as we've seen from the startup it's much quicker to start up than simply calc and that um, and that's the case throughout using practical it's just a much quicker program now the one downside is that everything's in either upper or lower but there's no mixed case so i'll create a similar spreadsheet to the one that we used in simply calc some costs all in round numbers here for the simple reason that I want to show something uh, extra about uh, practical. So I'm going to say, I'm going to reformat this cell. So I'm going to use F3 format and I'm going to format dollar, so um, currency. And then I'm going to copy that format. F5 is replicate. And I'm going to select dollar, which means just copy the format. And I'm going to copy that to line F. And then we should see, there we are, it's changed the format down. The reason I'm going to do it to line F is I'm going to put a total in here. And I'm going to define a, a formula. So if I press F1, that puts me into formula mode. And I'm going to say sum of B1 to D1. Now put stuff there. Uh, it's not showing at the moment. If I want to show calculate the formulas for the spreadsheet, I just press the exclamation mark and it calculates it. So I've got my costs and I'm going to put in an income from one line sales and from shop sales I'll have my total there I'll put these figures in again and I'll sum that up so I'll do F1 sum B4 to C4. Ah, yes, I forgot to press F1, I think. Try that again. Sum. Oh, no, I never. I know what it is. By exclamation mark. And there we are. It's calculated it. Now, you can see, again, it's uh, added those two figures up. Well, that came to a round number of 132. So, I want to alter the formatting on that. And there we are. It makes it look, look much neater then. And now I want to add those two figures together. So I've got that total in E4. I've got my profit here. And I want to say E4 minus F1. And I want to calculate 41. So um, so that's all uh, fairly standard so far. There's lots of different functions, average functions, uh, counting numbers in a column or counting number of items in a column, all sorts of things. So a lot more formulas than simply count supported. And, uh, and you can also do a lot more with it. So for example, I can change the column width of this column if I wanted to. Uh, so if I wanted to do that, I can do F3 
and then T, and then uh, G, I think. No, I can change it here to uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then right, let's change that column to 5. And um, we can do the same over here with this one. So we do F3, T, 5. But then you see it's um, cut out a little bit of this figure. So if I press hash, it'll show me the full figure. Or alternatively, I could decide that's too small and change that to 6. And there we are. That's a bit wider now. Right, so another thing I might like to do, uh, if, I, um, if I go down here and just put a few more uh, random things in, if I put um, name David Harold Mary Rebecca and I put in the uh, performance that short points. Okay, so I give David uh, four points, give Mary five, Rebecca three, and Harold two. Okay, so I can sort these fields for one thing. So if I do F3, sort from, so if I say P, and there we are, so it's sorted those around the other way. If I go to the bottom and do that again, and this time I say M, it'll sort it in the other order. So uh, that's a handy uh, standard feature of spreadsheets that we're used to now. Uh, something that I think is quite uh, quite neat is that I can go onto one of these points right here. I can press J, and it'll represent the points as stars, and um, and then I can copy that. So F5, I copy that to P. And there we are. So they're all they're all. Um, indicated by stars now instead of the numbers and we can even change that to high res if we wanted to so uh, if I change that using F3 G H and there we are so I could even put some bigger figures in there now so this will go out of 56 I think it is let's try that that's right uh, because it's seven characters long and uh, seven times eight is 56 so um, give them 30 points give Rebecca uh, 45 points and give Mary 39 points and there we are so that's quite nice if we want to create little histograms uh, in the spreadsheet, so just in line like that. And uh, yes, yeah, so all in all, you can see that PractiCalc is a lot more uh, has a lot more features than simply Calc. Uh, we can even do things like uh, um, moving columns about, or moving rows about, inserting rows. That's all the standard features that you expect from a spreadsheet. So uh, yeah, PractiCalc is really quite practical and you could definitely use it for things and um, and perhaps people did 
uh, perhaps people did run little uh, home offices or help them keep a track of things. Uh, I don't know. But if we have a look at how much memory is left, in space maybe? Yes, space. There you are. And there you are. You can see I've still got 648 um, cells that it thinks it can put data in. So 648 cells. Uh, so that's um, that seems quite uh, quite good considering where we're at at the moment. Uh, so you could definitely do something with that. And uh, all in all, uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing uh, Practicalc and um, seeing Simply Calc as well. Uh, there's uh, an accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website which will point to manuals and, um, and uh, files that you can download, download to run these. And uh, do have a look at our other videos on the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel and other articles on the Tech Tinkering website. And uh, please do subscribe.